Yeah. Well, Michael Kofsky is now joining us from Pasadena in California to tell us why this mission is going to be such a scientific gold mine. Hi, Michael. You know, there have been 38 previous missions to Mars. I believe 19 of these have failed. What's so special about this one? I, I think the real thing you have to realize about this mission is it's landed in a very special Michael? spot. Gale Crater, from what they can tell from orbital imagery, could be a scientific gold mine. Uh, if the scientists are correct, they're, they're seeing that they can see a mountain with sediment layers in it, and they think some of those layers were formed in the presence of water. If they're right, it, it could be it could hold the clues to past life on Mars, or at least when Mars might have been habitable for life. Um, so, um, what does all does the rover have on board, uh, Michael? I think uh, the two instruments that are, are really interesting. There's there's a laser that can actually vaporize small fragments of rock and analyze the gas that comes out from those rocks when they vaporize them. And uh, using that, they can determine what the rocks are, are made of. And also on board, there's actually a drill. As they climb this mountain that they're planning to climb on Mars, called Mount Sharp, they're going to be taking samples of rock, bringing them inside the rover uh, for the first time, and analyzing uh, what they're made of, and really determine what are the components of these rocks, and, and were they ever around when Mars, you know, do they ever indicate that Mars could have been habitable I'm for fine. life? So basically, um, uh, Michael, do you think this will help with a future manned mission to Mars, which is, of course, the ultimate goal for everyone? Well, if you look at the way this landed, it's unlike the previous missions. They've landed with these airbags. Yeah. They've, they've hit the ground, bounced 60 feet up in the air. They've hit the ground at 50 miles an hour. You can't do that on a manned mission. This mission, it was a very controlled landing in a very precise spot. And, well, what you have here is this system could potentially be scaled up for bigger craft, maybe eventually, not this landing system, but a similar system could possibly be used for a manned mission. So do you think it's going to be a scientific gold mine after all? Oh, I don't know. I guess time will tell. But uh, this is certainly, this, this spot that they're landing in right now definitely holds more promise than more of the plain areas. Right before we've landed in very flat, wide open areas because they were safe to land in. But this was a very uh, pinpoint accuracy. They've pretty much landed in something, you know, kind of like landing in the middle of the Grand Canyon. It's, it's a lot more difficult than landing in the middle of a prairie. So it's really a, a pretty big uh, accomplishment for them here at NASA. Brilliant. Michael, thank you very much indeed.